Yeah. Not world, Canada. It's, yeah, they exaggerate. It's like I caught a fish this big, right? It looks like this. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Skier, Sun Peaks. What kind of skiing? Who skis anyway? Any of you? Yeah. What kind of skiing you like doing? Yeah, one. <laughs> well, what other direction can you go? Like cross country. Ah, good point. You can go uphill, can't you? I don't know. I just know there's different So you're that. <laughs> You're that good of a skier, right? Okay. So a groomed runs, you know, first thing in the morning, they get the big uh, tractor going up there with a large attachment behind it, and it makes light corduroy. Okay, that's a groomed run, nice and flat, no chunks of ice. 45% like moguls. Or big bumps. Yes. 37%. Mogus liked freestyles, the new thing. Okay, all the jumps and the tricks and the boards that go both directions and strange stuff like that. 4% liked freestyle and moguls but not groomed okay because that's for old people sissy stuff not done yet 33 percent liked groomed runs only must be the old people they surveyed 17%, lots of percentages, huh? Liked all three types, and that's okay. That's like saying ice cream, right? What's your favorite? Sure. But if I said, would you like this one, this one, or this one? People usually say yes. <laughs> And 8%. Well, it's frozen, but no. Moguls only, 8%. So here's the tricky part. When you guys get a test, how do you know how many circles to make? Two or three? Okay, that's what you got to look at, right? And there's there's a lot of lines here, isn't there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of information. Yeah, it's probably more than two, okay? But we have groomed. We have moguls. We have freestyle. There's three. I, I need at least three groups, and that's where we're going to stop. Okay, so Venn diagram. Okay, and like, you know, you want big overlaps, right? So it's nice and clear. Yeah, that helps too. So what does percent mean? You know if you get a quiz and it's out at 10 and you get six of them, most of you know, well, I got six of them right. That means I got four of them wrong. So what's that as a percent? 60%, right? It's always out of 100 Okay, that's what percent means. So do I want to say that, oh, I don't know how many people this is, a group of skiers. Do I want to assume it's 10,000 or 563? Or what's a nice simple number to assume how many people were surveyed if I'm talking percents? 100, because then I don't have to worry about the percent. If it's out of 100, then all I have to do is go, well, that's 75 people. That's 45 people, okay? So that's what you want to do. So let's assume it's out of 100. Okay, so there's my box. 
What kind of groups do I need here? There's groomed, G, moguls, M, freestyle, F. Okay, that's nice. 75% liked groomed. That means this whole circle here, start, well, starting with G, stands for groomed. So, I don't know, maybe some teachers don't like to do this, but I do. Let's put a 75 there, okay? Mobile spouse. You see it on the left? See this guy's the whip whip? Unbelievable, how fast they can yeah, it's like percent, right? I'm going to assume this is 100 people, right? Yeah. Okay, 45% like moguls. I kind of made that too small. 45. 37 like freestyle. Okay. But there's lots of overlapping stuff here. That's where the rest of the information comes in. Okay, it's not that bad. Just got to piece it together. 4% liked freestyle and moguls, but not groomed. Where does that go? What's that piece of information? They like this one, and they like that one, but not groomed. You see what box that is? So it can't be groomed. They don't like groomed. So that means, what's this guy, right? Okay, 4%, put a number in there. 33 liked groomed only. What does that mean? It means they just like groom. They don't like moguls. They don't like freestyle. See the box that has G but not anything else? No, well, not a box. The shape? Yeah, that's groomed only. Okay? There's no M there. There's no F there. That's the only piece that's just G. 17 like all three. There's only one box here. That's a cross-section of all three. An intersection. That's the word we want, right? Intersection of all three. That's dead center in the center, right? Did I say that? Dead center in the center? And only one more. 8% liked moguls only. You know where that goes? Yeah. But there's lots. There's four pieces with M, but it's just M without anything else. Hopefully, that's enough to piece it all together. Okay? What's the question here, anyway? What percent of skiers... Well, I could ask you, I mean, any one of these empty boxes might be one of the questions, right? Freestyle only. And B... What percent of skiers like to do none of these? What does that mean, none of them? What box is that? Outside. Yeah, I don't have it yet, do I? Does this add up to 100? We don't know yet. Okay. So maybe some people said... They do the Ashley thing. They go uphill. All of these are downhill, right? Okay. Yes, you did. Don't lie. So am I able to find this? That's what I'm trying to find. What percent of skiers liked freestyle only? Let's call that X. That's here. Can I find that? No, because I have two unknowns. If I knew this, I'd be done. Okay? Because I know this whole thing is 37, so if I knew that, I'd just go 37 minus 4 minus 17 minus that. Well, that must be x. Okay? So I can't start there. I've got to piece my way around. Where can I start? What can I find out? Moguls. You already know. 8%. Like moguls only. Oh, you mean this one? Yes. Okay. All these four pieces here, I'm going to call it a shape, but it's not really. Okay. It's a bent triangle. They add up to 45. Okay. So I know this one, okay, has got to be 45 minus 8 minus 4 minus 17 is 29, 45. What's that? 16? I'll double check. Yes. 
Okay? So those all add up to 45, right? They have to. All right. Well, now what? Look at groomed. 33. Oh, I made a mistake, guys. <gasps> what did I get? Yeah, no, I screwed this up. All right, that's 33. That's 37. My apologies. Why? 37. Why? Because it's not That's 37. You know why? Because I make my own questions and sometimes... I have to piece it together and make it work, and then I change it so that it does, and then I forget to save when I close my app, and then it doesn't save my changes so that it didn't work, so that it doesn't, and we want it to work. Wow. How's that? That's good. Yeah. Okay. So that's 33. 37 ski groom, 33 like moguls or freestyle or all three. So this box must be, what's 37 minus 33? 4. Okay. Now we can figure it out. 17 and 4 is 21 and 4 is 25. These have to add up to 33. So 33 minus 25? 8. Okay? 8 like freestyle only. All right. So, part B. What percent of schools like schools, skiers like to do none of this? In other words, if that adds up to 100, then everybody surveyed fits one of these categories. And if it doesn't, well, then there's some left over that's not included in this universal set, in the samples, right? So what is this equal? Well, this, this, and this, and this is hopefully 75, right? So start there. 75, okay. You know what? Since I got color, that's 75, right? So I got to add 8. And 4 and just one more 8 down here that's 95 that's only 95 people sorry is it oh darn it well then I gotta fudge that one okay 74. Tristan added this up and said it's only 74. So, yep. Yes, you and you're my guinea pigs. Okay, so let's correct that. All of that 74. Thanks, Tristan. And eight and four and eight that must mean 94. so again i don't know how many people this was but it's percents okay i don't care how many people it was that only adds to 94 percent if it was exactly 100 people then that's 94 people but i'm missing six percent okay so what percent of skiers surveyed they said do you like groomed freestyle or moguls and then six percent of these people said no none and the surveyor said oh darn it can't you just pick one please because you know like I don't have that answer on my sheet it's the other category you know there's always another they're the others okay darn others screwing up every survey all right example two but first yeah, that's not enough. You need more. A formula. You remember the formula from last day? No. 
Okay, we're going to have to start way over here. See on the far left? The number of G, what's that stand for? Yeah, G stands for groom, but this stands for? Union. Union, thank you. U stands for union. M, union. F, because we have three groups, not two. Lots of intersections happening. Okay, so yeah, that means or. You can think of it as or, but you can't double count people, right? If I have students that have B's and A's, I can't, you know, count people twice, right? And C's, anyway, I could do that. That's a good question. So that's the number of groom people and the number of mogul people and the number of freestyle people. But if I add those together, that's more than 100%. Okay? So I have to subtract the people I double counted. So I'll write this out first, and then I'll explain it. G, that's the U, so what's this one? Upside down U, which stands for intersection, yeah. And there's lots of intersections, isn't there? Four little pieces here. Minus that, minus M intersection F, minus the number of kids in, what's the one I don't have? G, M, M, F. G, F, and here's the difference now, plus G intersection F intersection M. I fit it. One line. This is a test of how big you write. If you can't fit that on one line in your paper, you write too big. Okay. Okay, we got it? So now let's explain this. I have to include all of these people, but I can't double count them. So I add these three groups. I add 74 and 45 and 33 but I have to minus the intersection. So let's just look at G and M, okay? So I got all those, but I got to minus the intersection, which is, darn it. Okay, I got to, like I added these twice, didn't I? So I have to subtract that intersection once. So that's where this comes in. If I minus that group once, now I've included both those groups. That was your formula before, right? Just that, this one, minus that one. Okay, but now we're going to add this group, F, okay? But I also added these three numbers, okay? I got to subtract the intersection, the ones I already have, so that one and that one, but then I have to not subtract 17. I don't know how to do that. I only know how to do an intersection like that one. Oh, you can't even see that. I know how to do that intersection, or I know how to do that intersection. So what I'm going to do is subtract this one and subtract that one. But now the problem is I don't have that 17 anymore, and I want it. So I have to add it back. That's the intersection of all three. Okay? So if you understand that. Sixteen. Yeah. No, I did. See, when I add in this whole group, there's my sixteen. Now when I add in this group, I got it again. So I have to subtract the sixteen but and the seventeen. That's where this comes in. That's the intersection between G and M. Yeah. Yeah, I only want to include those numbers once, right? I can't include them twice. Okay. What? Hang on. That's where we're stopping right now. Example two. Huh? Hold on. Huh? Dude, that's not how I roll. 
Hmm? Sorry? Yeah, I guess I can leave this in. You can see that, right? That's a lot lighter in there. Hey guys, 72 people went to a restaurant and sampled soup. Is there a percent here? No, nope. just number of people. 31 How many L's in broccoli? One? Two? Yeah, one looks... Does it? It's one. It is one. It is one. It's one. All right, it's broccoli. Whatever. I don't know. It is one. It's one. Does that look? I don't know. They both look weird to me. I haven't spelled broccoli in a while. That's not discriminate. Okay, well then you all the white people should know how to spell beef and barley, right? <laughs> Okay, so 31 had brock and cheese, 36 had wonton, 39 had beef and barley. No, it's uh, definitely two seeds. Seven, because is this mutually exclusive or can you have more than one type of soup? Franny likes you to have as many as possible. Seven had wonton and broccoli. Yes, you know you're correct, you don't. But not, I'll just abbreviate a little bit, okay? Beef, which means beef and barley. So you remember your little symbol for not, a little slash? Well, we're not going to use that. I better not abbreviate that. Twenty. Oh, sorry. Eleven had beef. Beet. You like beet? No, I'm fine with it. That's okay. But not. There's beet soup. It's called borscht, isn't it? Yeah. I think it tastes like a way too. Eight. I'll spell it with two L's this time, okay? Just to make people happy. I think it's one. Yeah, that looks funnier. Yeah, it is one. That looks funny. Yeah, because think of this. I know E. coli has one L. And that's the end of broccoli. <laughs> Eight had broccoli and beef, but not E. coli, but not wonton. Okay. How many had all three? People like Ali. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Now he soup is good to heal joints when they have <laughs> their I'm serious. That's why when you're sick, your mom gives you, you know. That's where you're going. Okay, I kind of want all my information here and my picture, so I have to flip up and down. So,
So on this one, it's going to add up. Okay, there's no outside piece here. Otherwise, it would be impossible to solve it. So just to let you know, we don't really need a big X here. Um, but I got a couple things that start with a B. So W, all right, I'm going to put him here. I got beef and barley. There's two Bs, so let's call that one BB. And then BC, or maybe just C, cheese, broccoli cheese. Cheese and broccoli. Okay. Whichever is the larger ingredient should be first, right? So I don't know by weight which is more cheese or broccoli. But in either case, it doesn't really help us solve this problem. Does it? All right. 31 had broccoli and cheese. 36 had wonton. 39. Beef and barley. That looks like it adds up to more than 72, which means some people had more than one type. Wonton and broccoli, but not beef. Where's that box? Wonton and broccoli and cheese, but not beef is that one. Okay? 11. Beef and barley and wonton, but not broccoli. That's there. Eight. Broccoli and beef, but not wonton. That's there. Any more information? Okay. So, what are we getting asked? How many had all three? Let's call it X. That's dead center. How do we do this? Where do we start? Uh-oh. Yeah. yeah, you can't solve this if you have two unknowns, right? I can't do anything here with W. I got two unknowns. C, I got two unknowns. Two unknowns. That's where our formula comes in. Uh, the number of all three, which is how many? Yeah, because like I said, you can't do this unless you know that there's none left over, okay? The union of all three is 72. Okay, so 72 equals the number of, well, let's call it C. How many is that? 31. And the number of W. 36, and the number of beef, 39. Minus, what am I minusing? Three unions, okay? But what's the union here between C and W? Seven and X, right? That's the union between C and W. What's the union between W and beef? <laughs> Blank. What's the union? Let's try this. There we go. W and beef is X plus 11, isn't it? So I've got a minus. Well, 11 plus X, X plus 11, doesn't matter what order it's in. And what's my last union here? 8 and X. Okay, what happens if you don't have brackets here, guys? You get the wrong answer, right? Because remember, this minus has to apply to everything in the brackets. So that's my three unions. One, two, three, and then, what's this? The intersection of all three, that's just x. I've got an add an x. Okay, so we got a little bit of algebra here. This is why we need the formula. 
Okay, so minus 31 to both sides, minus 36 to both sides, minus 39 to both sides. On the right, they're gone. And on the left, I have 72 minus 31, minus 36, minus 39, minus 34, right? Is that a good first step? Let's get rid of the brackets. Okay, so this is gone, that's gone, and that's gone. Minus 7, minus x, right? So we haven't done algebra in a while, so we'll take this slow. Everybody okay with that? This applies to everything in the brackets, right? That's why we need brackets. It's not plus x anymore, that's a minus x. Minus 11 minus x. Minus 8. Why did I minus x there? That should be a plus. Everybody okay with that? Yeah, I don't know why I did that. 8 plus x is the intersection, right? Yeah, that's a mistake, sorry. Okay, minus 8 minus x plus x. Let's collect all our numbers. Minus 7 minus 11 minus 8 is what? Minus 18 minus 8 is minus 26. Let's add all our x's. What's minus x plus x? Zero. Okay. Plus 1 minus 1, it's gone. Minus x minus x, I got minus 2x left. Okay. Or, you know, minus x, minus x, minus 2x, minus x, minus 3x, plus 1x is minus 2x. That way works too, right? Okay, I just look at a minus and a plus, get rid of it. All right? So, two more steps. Let's get rid of that. Let's add it to both sides. And minus 34 plus 26 is minus 8 is minus 2x, which means x must be divide by negative 2, both sides, x is 4. That's how many people had all three types of soup. That's the only way you can do it, guys. Well, actually, it's not the only way. That's the only way I'm teaching you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we kind of want the formula for that guy. Okay, so in the book, they're going to use A's, B's, and C's. You know what? It doesn't matter what letters you have in there. Okay, it's a big sucker. One ninety-one. There is no outside. Oh well, did it ask for it? No. Who cares? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we could have asked you more, and now you can find it, but it didn't. That's all it asked. Okay. Um, I found another question, but maybe that's good for today. Okay. There's not 